what's up, what's up, what's up? Happy October. Happy October, y'all. Well, let me take now. I'm having fun with buying different readers, y'all, because they're so inexpensive. So I'm getting different colors, different style. And these have that, uh, what you call the blue light blockers, uh, like computer screen, phone screens that can be damaging to your eyes. So I have just been having fun just buying me different readers. So here's another pair. <laughs> love it, love it. But anyway, I can take them off because I want to talk to y'all about something really serious. Y'all, y'all know I get into the word and I study. And let me just say this. When you get into the word of God, you get into your Bible, the Bible, the Bible. And a lot of times we might be looking for this one or that one to, to help us or give us the answer. And I'm tell, I promise you all, if you just sit still and be quiet and let the Holy Spirit minister to you. And I'm talking to, to us who are, in the, who are in the household of faith, who are believers. And even people who come by and view this channel. And you, 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 you wish you had good godly counsel. You wish you knew someone you could sit down and talk to that tangibly sometimes so to help you maneuver through this thing called life. Is that not true? But we cannot forget. Oh, my God. We cannot forget the awesomeness of the Holy Spirit who was there to guide us to all truth, to get, bring comfort when we need answers to daily life situations, right? And so, again, as I was just around here and in my meditation and study time, and, you know, like I said, we want to look for old cracked tooth Leroy and left eye Johnny to help us. And, and there's nothing wrong with people in your life that you can tap into their reservoir and pull some of that virtue. Isn't that the truth? But I'm here to tell you, I was meditating and thinking about David. And I, I, I remember, you know, in reading, it was talking about how David, he was so taken with Bathsheba, you know, and he watched her from afar as she was bathing. And so it just seared into him that he was just going to have her, right? He was just going to have her. So again, for those of you who have read the story about David and Bathsheba, and, and get your Bible out and read about that. And I know one of the things that I have focused on for many years. And again, that's what's so awesome about the, the Bible. You can read that particular story, that passage, that scripture 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, today. And because the word is a living word and that Holy Spirit is ministering to you and, and, and me it can take on a whole different perspective, another vantage point. And I know for me, I, I, was, I was thinking about how, you know, ooh, David, he was a man after God's own heart. Even, even God himself saying that, he still was a booger bear, wasn't he? He was a booger bear. And when you think about David and, 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 and how he, did what he did to obtain Bathsheba. I mean, you know, again, the story is told that, you know, he 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 laid with on which was Bathsheba's husband and she became pregnant. And so to cover it up, he sent to go be with Bathsheba so he could cover up the fact that he had her pregnant and and but because of his loyalty because of his loyalty he, he he didn't want to lay with his wife and his other comrades as are still out there on the battlefield fighting so it was communicated back to David that he never laid with his wife he just sat on the outside of his home and fell asleep there at the doorway because he just he, he he didn't think that was honorable. So you think about now David finding that out and, and, and recognizing 
that this man, now David's the king. David could have any woman he want. I mean, y'all read the story. Check the story. David, my God, when he was on his deathbed, in order for the people to believe that he was dying or on his last leg, they say, put old young sweet thing, woman, lay, lay, lay her up against him. And if he don't respond and he don't try to reach out and, and, and get him some, then yeah, yeah. He, and when they did that, and they recognize, oh, yeah, the, the, the king is on his last leg. He's dead. He's gone because he liked women. Oh, my God. I want y'all to hear what I'm saying. So so think about now, that's who one of the things was that was known about David. And, yes, he was also known after God's own heart. He was quick to repent. He was quick to, to recognize once he got convicted about a thing. And again, if you study and read about David, once he came into the knowledge and, and, and got convicted about some things, he was the first to ask the Lord to forgive him. Aren't we all that way sometimes? But anyway, a, a, as I was again, meditating on that and thinking about that again, and just again, reading through the word, it, it I took on another vantage point because, again, when you got things going on in your life and you got to make choices and make decisions and you got to ponder some things and you and see the devil will make you think that there's something wrong with you. You're the issue. You're the problem. And so just by reading about that again, about David and Bathsheba and, 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 and all of that, and David learning about he tried to trick or he tried to deceive Bathsheba's husband. And, and, and he recognized he's dealing, this soldier, you're dealing with a man of honor. You're dealing with a man that has integrity. That he's, he's, he's a, a team player, if you will, where... David, although he is the king, and again, he can have any woman he wanted. He was the king. So it, it's almost like, you know, why did he even have to go through all of that? Why? Because even though Bathsheba was married, she was still subservient and had to serve the king at his own will as a married woman. He was the king. She couldn't deny him, even though her husband was out there on the battlefield. So it's almost like, you know, well, 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 why? Why? Why did he have to go through all of that? Why did he have to even go? If he wanted to just lay with her, just lay with her. And good God Almighty, I thank God for the Holy Spirit. It was put in my spirit because of guilt. He was trying to get rid of his guilt. So when all he found out, out about uh, 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 Bathsheba's husband and, and he didn't lay with her so he can uh, make everybody think that it was his baby and not David and all that. And he, 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 he found out who he was dealing with, even tried to set him up. And, and all this other kind of stuff. So finally, finally, finally. The man meets his peril. A setup. And again, you say, why did he have to go that route? Why couldn't he have just done? He was the king. Guilt. He wanted to get rid of his guilt. See, he didn't want to know that Bathsheba's husband was going to be alive knowing that she carrying his child. He didn't want to have to deal with the guilt of that. So instead of, instead of her husband being alive in, 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 in a reminder, oh my God, I want y'all to hear me today. Because that's why where that saying comes in, out of sight, out of mind. See, when people ain't in your face and before you, it's easy to forget, really it is. 
It might bubble up here and there, but it's easier to live with yourself. It's easier to forget things when things are not so ever present before you. And if her, as long as he stayed alive, he would always be a reminder. So I got to thinking about that thing. So that that's the perspective that ministered to me. I said, you know, that's why some people, some people, you know, you may be that. <laughs> oh, come on here. You may be the guilt that people have to face. And that's why I come... I want to just say to y'all, y'all be encouraged. Keep showing up. <laughs> Keep showing up. Keep doing what you're supposed to do. No matter what people are trying to get you to do, what try, what you know, they're trying to ensnare you and, 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 and dangle a carrot for you to go this way, that way, because they don't know your motive, but because you have integrity and because you have good character, like that Sheba husband did, you keep doing what you know is right. You keep showing up and doing what you're supposed to do because you're going to always be somebody's guilt ever before them. You're going to be the person that, you know, they don't want you to say nothing to them because it causes them to have to act better. It causes them to have to do better. It causes them to have to strive a little bit more. It, it causes them to have to do things that they wouldn't normally do if you weren't around. See, a lot of people, when you're around, you're the guilt. You cause them to sit at a detention. You cause them to straighten their shirt up a little bit more. You cause them to do all those things because if you weren't around, it's easier for them to be a slackers. It's easy for them to be underachievers. It's easier for them to do what they want to do and don't care how it affects you, him, or her. But my thing to you, and I had to encourage myself, girl, tell you keep showing up. Because guess what? Ain't I can't do nothing about if you see me and you feel guilty about the things that you ain't doing and you know that you should be doing. Don't get mad with me because when you see me, you have to stand to attention and almost do a salute. And that don't mean I'm better than you, but if it causes you to have some type of conviction so that you do what you're supposed to do, not like what David did. You try to get, see, people are trying to get rid of you. They'll try to dismiss you disown you for whatever reason because you're doing what's right. You have good character. And some people say, oh, she's a Miss Goody Two Shoes. And we understand what that means. We understand, yeah, there are some people out there. We know what Miss Goody Two Shoes. But no, if you know you're doing and you're standing on business like the young folks say, you keep showing up. You keep doing what you know you're supposed to do. I can't help it if I'm your guilty conscience, baby. I can't help it. That I cause you some uncomfortable. It, it's uncomfortable sometimes around me because I'm that walking example and or that reminder to you that you got to deal with some stuff. And, 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 and we live in a civilized society. Well, some of us. <laughs> but y'all understand. Well, we ain't supposed. We can't just off people. We ain't walking around here kings and queens where we're like over some type of nation or our hierarchy. Yeah, we might be kings and queens in our homes and and that type of thing because we're in. This is our domain. Y'all understand what I'm saying? But oh yeah, there are gonna be people that. You are their guilty conscience. Oh, absolutely. And here you are just living your life. Here you are just doing what you know is right to sustain your lifestyle or sustain who you are. You go on your job and you do what you know you're supposed to do. And here they is over here just always trying to get over, always trying to find an easy way out. Oh, but when you show up, oh my God. It causes them to have to stand a little bit to attention. So their only defense is, oh, she thinks she's Miss Goody Two-Shoes. Oh, he think he's this and he's that. Oh, well, okay. 
speak those things that be not as though they were in your eyes. But I know who I am. <laughs> I know what I give. And so just because you want to, quote unquote, banish me, get rid of me, because I'm too much of a reminder of, of stuff that you ain't doing. I'm too much of a reminder that you ain't get up off your butt and do what you need to do. See, I'm too much of a reminder. I ain't even got to say a word. All I got to do is show up. And I'm too much of a reminder for you. And all I can say is, again, you if you're that person, y'all know what, what I, for those of you who get it, you get it. I'm here to encourage you to continue to show up. Continue to do what you know is right. And hopefully, and hopefully, prayerfully, eventually, those people that you literally shake their foundation when you come around because now they know they got to do better. They know they know they need to do better. And even if they don't do better, they know they need to do better. You just being who God told you to be. You just continue to be. You continue to be. You keep showing up. Amen. I'm telling you. So again, you may become the guilty conscience of somebody. And you're living your life. And don't not show up because it makes some people uncomfortable. Because I can't do nothing but be who I be. And didn't God say, God said like this, I am that I am. Oh my God. Anyway, y'all, <laughs> I got kind of deep. Oh, that was good to me. I love when the Holy Spirit ministers to me and shows me some things. People will have you all out the will of God. They'll have you doing all kind of things. All because you are a reminder to them of things they should have been doing. Had the opportunity to do. Oh my God. But again, I, I and guess what? It ain't nothing but love. And I still pray for those people. And I pray for myself. That I continue to show up. Amen. All right, y'all. Anyway, let me go. But I thank you for supporting me. Happy October. Happy birthday to all you October babies. Amen. Anyway, I love you. God bless. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. Bye, y'all.